Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we'll be doing some mini mines, Port C, and we have France 6. Starting explore is that mountain, and that is a great explore for us. We're going to France 6 into my C2. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I think we defend our C3, and we'll take the Blight to scale on C7, and I think... We'll try to set up probably beasts in C3. So it's G2, top, bottom. I don't even think I need to do the G3 build. This is the one uh, matchup where doing G3 turn one can have a lot of value. But because we got a good explorer, I don't think I want to do that. Multiplying swarm, and let's go. Sands is the follow-up. We're going to France 6 into my beast land. And ever multiplying swarm. Okay. So yeah, good explorer after good explorer. Um, that is very nice for us. Maybe I should have put the uh, the sacred site here, but... I think... Well, we're definitely going to G2 again. I believe I go, I go top, top. I want to get that other... Uh, presence there. I'm going to be doing Bedevil this turn just for target any and we'll use guide the f um, what is this? Guide the way. We'll have our left innate to move beasts into C3. We use guide. Oops. No, not that one. Let's try it again. Guide. Beasts. Yep. Beasts. Gather. Left innate here. Gather, gather. Now I have the two beasts needed for that right innate. And I will be able to... If, I'll be able to set up nicely on this land. And then eventually um, I go from there. I think this is nice. I'm also playing around beast damage for C6. I can get ahead that way. There we go. So beast damage. Very, very nice. tight -knit communities. Sure. Adding a coastal to Han. That's pretty amazing. That's that's why I love this this spirit. And the wetland is the follow-up. And I got a France 6. Oh, France 6 right here. I'll just nicely trade in that land. So this is very, very strong for us. I'll be able to slave rebellion my C5. I'll probably skip my C3 here. Actually, I don't think I will. I think I want to move beasts over here into C8 to disrupt this build into C6. I can, then I can defend C6, and I'll probably take the Blight to skill as well on C2. So, G2 bottom bottom here. Let's get that power card. And hopefully we get a nice animal card. We did not... I, mean, well, we, I was hoping an air animal. We got Carapist and Delusions... I mean, maybe it's delusions. It's a lot of disruption. I think... I do delusions here. Can I... I know I get the third tier of my left innate here. But I only have defend two for this land. Not sure if it's good enough. If I gather beasts into here... What if I go into here? I gather three beasts. One, two, three... And then I can go push, push, push. I guess it works. Delusions of danger here. Push that explore into here. Pursue, push the town over to here. Dreadful tide here to fear. And then I have my defend to here, and it's very nicely cleaned up here. Two fear cards, terrifying beasts, bureaucrats, sure. Or fear. Or defend. Remove an explorer. I guess we'll push this guy over here. Another explorer removed. This is what I'm talking about. Being able to play around these uh, defensive effects. So I can actually throw... I can uh, push this explorer out of my C5. I think I want to do that. Throw it on my... This is actually a very important turn. Everything in C6 is cleared. 
if we let this build, if it explores wetland, I have to escalate up here. I'm not too excited about that, though I could Rebellion plus move. I'll push that Explorer to here instead. No, I don't think so. I think we leave this just so I can... Well, if it's Wetlands follow-up. I'm just thinking if it's Wetlands follow-up, what I want to do here. I think we throw this to the jungle here. Just softening up this land. We're going to skip that Ravage. Clear that. Wetland build. Ah, this is the back-to-back. -back. The Escalate. Grant 6. I think that's okay, though, because I can just quickly... Um... Oh, I forgot I have um... an extra Explorer here, though. Like, I guess I could Rebellion this, move to Han over here to C8, defend this. I think it's okay, though. And I also have Delusions to Disrupt. Oh, gosh. I'm just getting, like, all of the good cards this game. Call to Guard's amazing, nice defend. Uh, zero cost air. I also got an air animal with Dire Meta. I can, af I can afford to play Dire Metamorphosis this game, so I think we do that. Like, Delusions, Dire Metamorphosis, plus Bedevil. No, I, I can't do but Dire. I gotta do Guide, because I gotta get to Han here. I see, but then I don't have the animal... I think it's okay. Like, if I do Delusions here, I push this Explorer. Let's throw it to the Beast Land. I just don't have enough Defend here. If I use the Delusions play. Ooh, I'm just a little off. Yeah, I was supposed to play around this. I guess maybe I go call to guard then. Yes, that's what I'm supposed to do. Because if I go with the call to guard play, I don't have to play delusions. I do call to guard. And that should work. Play these three cards. Because now I can just um, guide here. Gather, move both Han. And then I have... There has to be a better way of doing this. I can move, move. I have the Defend 2 here, plus the Rebellion. I guess I could just defend three here. It's like, I don't have enough defend there. Wow. I think I'm just a little bit off. I don't, maybe I don't see the line here. Now, I will get really far ahead since it was the back to back, luckily. Of course, Bedevil like fixes everything, but I'm trying to play without Bedevil. Rebellion plus the defend is not enough. It's because of the adjacency is so awkward. I mean, I guess what I could do is I can go move it to Han here. Hold a guard. Just feels bad. I also get hit. I get really punished by... Um, well, I, I was thinking get really punished by... Uh, re, um, Ultra lace him, but maybe not. Like, I can go beasts, move. Could move the beast to here. Here's the problem, though. I don't have enough defend here for this play. Because with the call to guard, I don't. I only have defend three. Oh, no, no. It, it does work, actually. Because the, um... Yeah, I, I could do something like this. And... Guide. Beasts. Move the Dahan. I think I move the beasts. Like this. We rebellion this land. That gets cleared. I have the defend here.
And I think we use the left innate like this. We go presence, presence, play around beast damage. That looks pretty good. Rebellion, like I said, I want a rebellion here. Takes the damage. What do we get? Oh, the beast damage and the no bravery. That's really good. Well, it's funny though. It actually still causes it. Like here, this just dies. Here, kills the damage. I've gotten like, what, three beast damages this game? I guess just one. But here though, it's kind of sad. I, uh, oh, actually, no, I, I make it not count. I just kill an explorer because I want this land to ravage. And. Here we don't have it count either. Okay. Your cards. That's that's very good for us. That clears. That clears. And the explore is Sands, Escalate, Francix. We are very far ahead here. Like I'm a complete tempo ahead. I can just toss everything from C6 into C8. Let's G2 bottom bottom. don't have many beasts left, though. That's the only negative here. I have just a couple beasts. It's actually really sad, because I can't get... Um... So, like, if I move beasts into here, I'm just trying to see if I can get a, a nice trade. I don't think I can. I can go gather, 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 gather. Push three, push one into there. One into here. I only push two things, three things. I then use delusions. Wow, I've been getting so much value this game from delusions. Pushing that explorer into here. And then I can use my left innate, or not my left innate, pursue to push the town. The Explorer. Defend two there. Oops. There we go. So just defend two. And then I could use Dreadful Tide here. Skipping that build. Getting rid of the Sacred Sight instead. Because I need more beasts. Wow. We just... Every freaking turn, we just keep getting beast damage. Feels good, though. It's, it's been a while since I've um, gotten this lucky. Added to Han over here on C8. Let's push this explorer to the sands. They get extra damage, so I gotta be careful. Explore is the mountain with the escalation, and we will France six. Actually, we'll France six over here into C eight. Add to those beasts, multiplying swarm. C two's covered. We can either defend it, we can skip it. Um, I probably want to just... Let's first reclaim and let's get a major and we can build a plan off that. Um, there's Voice of Command. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, we can threshold this card. Let's see, if we do Voice of Command, we did Call to Guard. Or no, Voice of Command, Pursue, Guide, the Devil. Let's do that. Called guard. I call a guard. Guide, pursue, bedevil. Yeah, and next turn we want to skip my C7. Very, very powerful. We have that left innate. We pretty much have everything we want here. Just insane. Let's do our guide. Actually, yeah, we do guide. Oops, sacred sites. Dahan, Dahan, Sacred Sight, leave the Dahan. Oh, no, no, not what I wanted to do. Try it again. Sacred Sight, Dahan, Dahan, Sacred Sight. So, like, I'm not moving the Dahan, I don't want to. I should be able to press skip and it shouldn't um, force me into another turn, but maybe I'm doing this incorrectly. Let's try it again. On um, DC, why is it? This is where it should not send me to the invader phase here. So clearly, there's a bug. Um, because I have a bunch of other cards that I can use. 
So I think I'm going to have to get creative here since there is that bug. Uh, I guess I'll do left innate here. Actually, we'll use the left innate on C5. We'll go gather, gather, gather. And we'll go push, push. Push. We then do pursue here. Pushing the town. We then use guide. There we go. So it was fixed there. I was able to get past it. Basically, I'm trying to set up a way such that I can get to Han in this land. And then I can use my left innate. Not my left innate. My um, threshold to voice of command. They gather some explorers here. They then do a ton of freaking damage here. Filling all those buildings. And then we also get a nice defend here. Have all of the fear. And then um, we'll end the game doing a very similar plan on my C7. Should win us the game here. Life's web? Don't have any plant cards. I guess we'll just pick top here, right? Pick top. Worst case, I lose a, a Blight, which I didn't. Push a Beast. Sure. Gather. Don't think it matters. Push three. Um. I guess... I don't think I want to push anything. Er, how many Fear Cards? We have two... Go just push one. Keep the town count down. Scapegoats. The coast. It is the coast. And luckily we'll just win straight in the um the uh the fast phase here as I just reclaim. I'm just gonna get a minor, it does not matter what I pick. I'll grab primal. And we're just gonna play the same cards as before, except we'll play um Dreadful Tide this turn. And we're going to use the, uh, what is it? We use guide. Moving to sacred site, to Han, to Han, skip. Left innates. Moving all of our beasts, beast, beast, beast. Push, push, push. Voice of command, gather, gather. Filling all of that. Plus our left innates. Or our right innates. They're level 3. It's GG. So a very, very uh, easy game with many minds. This is a matchup though that can be pretty tricky. Um, it really depends on the amount of beast damage that you're getting. We had great drafts this game. Um, Call to Guard, of course. Delusions of Danger. Just a very phenomenal pickup. Um, which is crazy because this is a card that I think a lot of players just hate. But... Man, this card did so much work this game. Oh, and of course, a voice of command at the end here, giving us that way to just end those those big built-up lands. Um, what else? The events were very kind. Tight knit was great. Bureaucrats was like had no, ch um, not really uh, impactful. No bravery was great. Um, yeah, no bravery and tight knit communities just did uh, phenomenal work. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.